Welcome to another episode on our channel. By now, I don't have to explain my presence. Uh, of course, she is swamped with work again, so here I am. Um, you've seen this, you saw a preview of it, you saw my how-to video, uh, but we've run into a little bit of a functionality problem, for lack of a better term. This vice, I mean, it, it holds things so far, doesn't appear to give any evidence that it scuffs things, but the problem is the location. Um, in order for her to use it from a seated position, she needs to slide bench over, and because when we get older, uh, hit 40, uh, what used to be the tooth fairy leaves you a pair of seeing eyeglasses for near work uh, under your pillow rather than a quarter, or whatever the going rate is for the tooth fairy these days. So anyway, so she has to kind of look here. And it's not real practical. Uh, if it's not practical, she's not going to use it. If she doesn't use it, then it, this was basically an academic exercise. A fine one, but still just kind of an exercise. I have a solution. Maybe a solution. And this is a preview, by the way. Um, I won't go into assuming that I figured out how to do it, uh, how to do what I'm going to show you. Give me a second here. This thing. So, as, oops, sorry, as a preview, I'm going to find some way to connect this very art, well designed, at least on the face of it, body support group. You can move it around. Uh, three degrees, no, two degrees of articulation. Uh, well, I suppose three degrees, if you count that as, as a y-axis. But anyway, this thing, there we go, backwards, stretch it out. And the, the point is, it, it will put, should put everything here, or anything she puts here, right in front of her face so that she can work on it, be it painting, maybe uh, the, the lips of a, of a head or whatever. It's right here. I just need to figure out how to put this thing onto here when it's really meant to be clamped on to the side of the workbench. It's made by Dremel. Uh, if you know anything about, ooh, noisy. If you know anything about Dremel, um, they are known for their for their mini grinding tools. Um, I have I bought a Dremel tool in the early 1990s, and well, it's not like I use it every day, but the thing shows absolutely no sign of ever dying. Um, it's even so ubiquitous that you can be um, what part of grammar? You dremel out the head of a motorcycle. You take that mini grinder and you make the combustion chamber larger. Um, so, bottom line is, Dremel makes, historically anyway, as they make good stuff. Um, we'll find out if I can come up with a hack to attach the Dremel vise to this uh, to this workbench. Also going to get rid, this is driving me nuts. Uh, the little burn area, next time you see this bench, this won't be here. This is making me crazy, uh, crazy-er. So, so anyway, um, nothing report, we'll be back tomorrow. Uh, I have no idea what she has planned for tomorrow. Uh, but in the near future, that vice somehow, hopefully, fingers crossed, will make its way right here in some way that is, aesthetically pleasing to her. Uh, that's modification one. Oh, by the way, that Dremel vise, I think about as much as this cast iron vise. I think I paid 25 bucks for it, give or take. Phase two, I intend to put a drawer in here facing this way, of course, so that she can, you know, pull the drawer out and store, I don't know, paint brushes or, um, you know, any number of her, her ubiquitous flathead screwdriver that was my flathead screwdriver 40 years ago. Uh, I had that screwdriver set 
with the little one longer than I've had her. And we've been married 36 years, I believe it is, 37 this coming March. So with that, I hope you've liked what you've seen. If you have, uh, hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up. Uh, in the meantime, everyone, have a great day.